Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. My name is uh, Han Liu and uh, I am a researcher from the Oxford Hainan Blockchain Research Institute. And I will be talking about our research work on uh, finding uh, vulnerabilities in uh, smart contracts. Okay, so commonly when you write a smart contract, uh, you might want to uh, do uh, a validation procedure. For example, you can write a group of uh, test cases to test whether your contract works or not, or you can use a verification tool to verify whether a specific property holds or not, uh, or you can uh, find an auditing team to uh, send your contract to them and get their feedback. Uh, after that, hopefully you can get useful feedback and optimize your smart contracts and you can put them uh, on the blockchain. But in some cases, those validations might not be able to work. For example, uh, if there are a lot of uh, a large corpus of uh, auditing requests, requests you might, it might take a while for you to get uh, feedback from the auditing team. Or if something new, some, some new problems just have come out and your verification and testing tool have not been updated yet, uh, they might not be able to give you a good uh, detection. So if you look at this uh, CVE example which was uh, reported last year, and you may find that uh, this very simple integer overflow might be able to cause uh, a, a zero pay transfer uh, in this uh, uh, transfer proxy uh, function. And it was happening in many other token contracts last year. And when we used some uh, existing analyzers to analyze this security issue, we they, they told us that nothing was uh, no, nothing was uh, found, so which was obviously a, a false negative in this setting. So the reason for this is that some of the analyzers, when they see uh, an overflow, they they will not directly report it. Instead, they will check whether this integer overflows will be followed by a, a, let's say a re revert operation. If so, they might consider this as a pr protection mechanism. Uh, such like the, uh, the safe math uh, library, and uh, but this, this one does is just not this case. So what we are trying to do is that when you have your contract, we would like to know whether there, your contract can be matched to some existing known uh, security issues, and uh, instead of uh, directly analyzing them. So you can also do this for those contracts which are already deployed on the blockchain. And to this end, we are exploiting the idea of uh, code clone detection technique. Uh, specifically, uh, we uh, generate a birthmark representation for the vulnerable contracts or the vulnerability itself, and you do the same for your contracts. And we analyze the semantics of them. And you do a sort of uh, graph matching algorithm and identify whether they are semantically si similar to each other. And given a contract, we create the control flow graphs for the contract and we perform symbolic execution on the graph itself and we refine the graph on the fly to make it as complete as possible and for each basic block in the control flow graph we, uh, we first we abstract the path conditions to reach that block and secondly we analyze the dependency patterns uh, in the block uh, for example we will check which storage variable was first Update it, update it in the block and then used as a, let's say, a parameter of a message call operation. And such um, dependency pattern would help us better understand the behavior of this block itself and also the whole uh, con contract as well. And then we got a numerical form of uh, a label uh, control flow graph and then we, we can do this at, at a contract level or a function level. And next, given to a pair of uh, uh, contract birthmarks, we will first compute their vector, numerical vector distance and then we will adopt it. We will adopt the similar, similarity by construction ideas um, to, I, to, to cal calculate how and what probability these two uh, con contracts or functions can be symmetric clones or, uh, to each other. And we have also developed this uh, e-clone tool to, to, implement, to implement this uh, idea. And we have done uh, a bit of uh, preliminary um, evaluation, and it turns out the e tool can 
managed to uh, deliver better detection capability than uh, baseline approach, which only considers the syntactic information in the contract. And that will uh, conclude my talk. And if you have, they are interested in more details, you can refer to these two academic papers. And in, in addition to uh, smart contract security, we also <coughs> do a lot of other interesting things, uh, including RACTAC or other secure protocols on uh, blockchain. And I'll be happy to have uh, any uh, offline discussions. Thank you.